Welcome to the Interesting Podcast with Jedi Brian number 20. 20. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm quite proud of that number, because 20 is a lot. Uh, this episode is from Geek Fest, which was forever ago. Um, I've explained that enough times, been busy, but here it is. Um, it is my friend Momo, who you guys will probably know as Keeks Cosplay, Keeks. Um, she's the best. She has uh, a great sense of humor. Me and her get pretty dry, which is which is quite fun. Um, but with this, I hadn't seen her for a long time. Um, so this is a lot of catching up. Um, this was, <laughs> I mean, this was a while ago. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So a lot of things that we talk about um, are a bit dated. You know, <laughs> they are what they are. Um, this was right before she moved to L.A. So she's in L.A. And Momo, if you're listening, I miss you. Um, we <laughs> we have Game of Thrones theories, which now obviously the season is over. And we got quite a few right, which is which is kind of fun. Um, she travels a lot. It's actually one of my favorite things about Momo. She travels all over the world, literally because, because she can, which is so cool. Um, it's something I do as well. Uh, so we connected on that. She had a lot of really great travel tips, um, for anyone who's interested in that. Um, we get into the fact that she did Irish dancing for a bit, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, the, the, you know, the standard, uh, dumb cosplay questions. And the origin story of her screen name, League of Legends. I mean, we talk about a ton of stuff, as per use on my podcast. But anyway, I have kept you here long enough. Enjoy this episode, number 20, with Geeks Cosplay. Roll the theme song. Is it Miggy? It should no, be Miggy. No, it's John. Moderately okay. Oh, okay, that's one. fair. He is He's right incredible. next to you. Just so I can fap to both of you. Okay. Put a little distance between us so I don't feel so intimidated. Well, he's right below you. All right, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay, I'm you're on top. Above, you're on top of him. Okay. Whew. Man, I know. some sort of seniority. I know. Because uh, he's very, very, very talented. Yeah, but you have cabbages. I do. I do so. have cabbages. I, I did a panel earlier with the 501st. Uh-huh. And uh, the squad leader was like, yeah, you know, we do other costumes. You know, Brian does a cabbage guy. And some people in the back are like, oh, my God, it's the cabbage It's him. cabbage guy. Are we recording right now? Yep. Oh, wow. Sweet. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All set up already. All Would right. you like an egg? It's a dollar, but I'll give you one for free. What? I want the green one. What's in them? Candy. They're full. It's actually, there's nothing in there. There's it's definitely something in there. There's, there's it, I can. Is it M&M's? It's. I mean, it's a lot of different stuff. Is it a lot of M and M's? Look, look in it. Oh, they're like jelly beans. And and other things. And other things. And, and M and M's. Are those the crispy M and M's? Yes, they are oh the crispy M and M's. Oh my god, those are the best M and M's. I know. They're so good. You are good to your people. Uh, they're a dollar. They are. But this one's free. That one's free because I like you as a person. Because you like me as a person. That's good. And I have you on my fap wall, so I figured, you know, I might as well at least give I you an egg. I basically have earned it. You know. <laughs> Essentially. That makes sense. That you makes know. sense. So how have you been? I haven't seen good. you in a it's long been, time. It's been a really long like time. Like a really long like time. Like a really, really. Like I forgot what you look like. Like, uh, yeah. You walked up to me and I was like, who is this? Well, I'm also blonde right now. And which taller. Which is weird. And tall because I have Because you're quite inches. short. For those that don't know you in person. Yeah. You're People, that's what the first thing people say when they see me. They're like, wow, you're really short. Vertically like, challenged. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer hobbit sized. Yes. Hobbits are awesome. Yeah. Hobbits are good. I don't have the hairy feet, though. I do. Ooh. You know, you know, somebody's got to do it. Might as well yeah. be me. <laughs> Might as well be you. So you're a hobbit. I am. I, I can. I feel like you're more sure. of a leprechaun. Yeah. It's the beard. It's the beard. It's Irish. It's very red. It's okay. I have, I have the freckles. You can't see because I'm always... You know, my makeup 
when I'm in cosplay. Sure. And your last name is pretty Irish. No, it's not. It's, it's Swedish. It's not Irish. Swedish. My first name's Irish. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, Maureen Ashby. Yeah. You know, watch Sons of Anarchy? Yeah, no. It's a character named Maureen Ashby. Oh, cool. That's what I thought when I first learned your name. I always thought of Maureen O'Hara. What's that? She's an actress. What is she in? She just died. She's in the Niagara Falls movie in like a long time ago. That's I've the only movie I've I know she's in. I've never seen that. I Are you sure it's a thing? It is a thing. Are you sure? I have seen I've it. never even heard of it. I have seen it. I feel like it's she's not a thing. She's a very famous actress from like the 50s. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I wasn't born then. I wasn't either. I wasn't. I don't but believe you. We have the same names, so. Actually, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because you would look up people with your same name. Like, yeah. is there anyone famous that has my name? Yeah. I was named after an actor. Really? Brian. Jedi Brian? Jedi that's Brian. An act- that's yep. an actor? Yeah. It's, uh, he's pretty famous. Okay. Yeah. It's in the Star Wars movies? Yes. I'm sure. Yeah. No, that, that'll be me. Okay. It'll happen. I'm working on One it. Day. I actually have a really good plan. Do you? Yeah. Well, I'm moving t- to L.A., so are you? maybe you I can that? hook you up with some actors. When are you doing that? June 1st. Are you really? Yeah. For what? Like funsies? Because I want to. Hell yeah. Because I really want to pay fist. triple mm. the amount of rent that I already pay. And go into and four times broke. the traffic? Yeah. Yeah? It's going to be great. You got any fun stuff planned while you're there? Trying not to be broke. That makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. I like that. Yeah. And what part of L.A.? Uh, For those Korea that don't Town. know. So, oh, Koreatown's cool. Right next to downtown. I've never been there, so I'm yeah? assuming. To L.A. at all? Tell, I've never been to California at all. Really? The furthest. I've been to Phoenix. Okay. That's not even close to L.A. That's not. Or well, it's like, like in eight anyway. hours. Yeah, that's not close. And that's it's a not day close. drive. And it's not even close in, like, feel. No. But that's okay. It's the I've closest been to, I've been to L.A. I've been to L.A. I've been all over L.A. Sweet. I love it. You have to tell me where to go. Um, depends what you're looking for. I uh, si- things that are free. Venice Beach is okay. an interesting place. Sweet. I wouldn't say it's free, but it's free spirited. So are, does that mean everyone's like naked? Partly, yes. Sweet. There's I'll like, go there. It's so strange. It's like free porn, right? Kind of, but not as fun to watch per se. Depends what you're into. <laughs> well, like I if mean, you, like, you know. If there's somebody that's like on a unicycle juggling chainsaws, you will find that on Venice Ooh, Beach. Ooh, that's my favorite. That's yeah. my that's my fetish. Oh, How did you know? Venice Beach <laughs> is what you want. Chainsaw. Danger. It's oh. got that hint of danger. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very... I loved LA, but I, I don't know if I'd live there. I'm like I'm a country man. I lived on a farm before I moved down well, here. Well, I'm yoloing it, silly, and if I hate it, I'll move again. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a, that's a good what happens when you're 20 something, right? Yeah, just do you. Quarter life crisis. Yeah, you're. That's why I've been traveling everywhere. I like it. I I I, yeah. I respect that. Yeah. So yeah. Anyways, last time I saw you was uh, before what? season five of Game of Thrones. Yes. Yes, it was. That's coming that was up very soon. Yeah, and next season. How do you feel six. about it? Oh, I'm, I'm scared to watch it. Same. Because you know. Because it'll spoil books. the books. Yeah. You're the only other person I know who's read all the books. Yeah, I think uh, I know like one other person other than you. Yeah, I. Um, so, I don't know how I feel. I'm. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna watch it. Cause well, me too. We gotta watch it, but we I don't watch know if it, I'm gonna enjoy and, it. And like, I can't wait any longer for Mr. Martin to yeah. finish it. Apparently, I'm loved as a blonde. I'm doing a podcast. <laughs> Hi, Shirley. Shirley. Hi, Brian. That's um, Shirley. She'll be on an episode. Shirley, later. she'll be next. But Sweet. Yeah, this. Uh, it'll be an interesting season, I think. It's gonna be great. I think. I. Uh, Until Arya and everyone we love dies. We know Jon Snow's not gonna die because he already did that once. Well, he's gonna stay dead. No, he'll come back. No, he's totally staying dead. I don't want everyone to be right. Everyone needs to be wrong. Yeah. So that I can be right. No, and he's I want to be the right one. See, I this guy knows what's see up. It, in the in the books, he's definitely dead for show. For but show. In the I show, think either, I think in the TV show they're gonna bring him back, but the books are not gonna yeah. bring him back. No, in the books he is dead. He is he's deader than he's dead. He's so dead. If you've read it, he's dead. He's so dead. But in the show, he they got brought, stabbed like thirteen times. They brought in the heart. Melisandre to Castle Black right before it happened in the show. In the books, yeah, she's not she's even not there. there. She's not so there at all. No one. Yeah. yeah. I kind of, my, my, I kind of, I mean, it sucked really bad because Jon Snow is one of my favorite characters from like book one. 
Uh, I kind of hoped he would come back as a White Walker and just murder everyone in Castle That'd Black. That would be cool. And be like, well, this is what you get. I'm digging that. Him and uh, Eager can yeah. become White Walkers, even though White Walkers are all males, but yeah. that's okay. That's all she right. She can be the first female White Walker. Yeah, she'll be the White Walkette. Walkette. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, I'm you know, excited. It'll be good. That's in like a month. Yes. I, um, I'm ready. It'll be interesting. My heart's not ready. No. But I'm ready. Yeah. I know Marjorie's going to die, and that's just making me really sad because yeah. she's my favorite. Well, that was only a matter of time. Once Cersei got back to the castle, you know yeah. what's going to happen. They're both going to be dead by the Violence. end of the season. Violence will ensue. You see, oh. Cersei's going to be at Megacon. Is she? Yep. I saw um, Tom Felton's going to be at Megacon. Yep. So are the really twins, exciting. Fred and George, and Ginny Weasley. Yeah. It's my last Florida con, so. Is it? I will it not is. be there. So that kind of sucks. Why are you going to be there? I'm going on a cruise. Wow. Yep. Cool. Yep. What if I never see you again after today? We'll always have the internet. Thank God. <laughs> we'll hang out. Yeah. Before. Yeah. Before It'll I be leave. good. I'll, I'll drive to where you live. There you go. It's a nice place. Where all the old people live. Where all the old home of the newlywed that's, that's and the West nearly Palm dead. That's too. So. Yeah. It's a bit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hence so the I'm move moving to LA. LA. <laughs> yeah, so I can be with um, wannabe actresses. That makes sense. Instead. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Like a lot, a lot of them. No. But it's good. It's fun. I, I really liked it when I was there because every person that you talk to is like trying to do their own thing. Yeah. So that's nice. I've it's talked to a few people atmosphere. and they're all very different and I love it. Yeah. They're all very nice people. It's very cool. It's going to be interesting for sure. So you travel a lot. I do travel a lot. I like I that. Try to, I, I don't feel like I travel a lot, but according to everyone else, I travel a lot. Yes. Yes, I would say you do. And you just recently came back from Iceland, semi-recently. Iceland. Yeah. How was that? It was fantastic. Speaking of Game of Thrones. You went north of the wall. I did. And a little bit south of the wall as well. Oh. Um, I went to the Bloody Gate in particular. What? And uh, funny story. Since it was winter time in Iceland, and you know it's just like rock, but you know it's winter, so there's also ice. Sure, rock and ice. I, I went Song sledding. of rock and ice. I went sledding down the bloody gate. Oh. We almost died. Hence the name. Hence, you know, the bloody gate. There was some blood drawn, not by me, but by nice. some of the other people. That's what matters, as long as um, it isn't yours. Yeah, but we, you know, because there's we almost hit the rocks. Sure. But it was, it was fun times. That's actually and a I really good story. And I got to say, story. I got to go sledding down the bloody gate. Yeah, and your friend can say they bled on the bloody gate. I know. So that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's even better. So yeah, and I saw some other Game of Thrones places, too. There's actually a scene from Daenerys' side that got filmed in Iceland as well. Oh, You know, really? when the goat, the dragon comes and, like, kills the little kid and the goat and stuff? Yes. That was Iceland. Was it really? Yeah. Huh. I got to see that area as well. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. You're like a child was eaten by a dragon right here. Yeah. That's good. This is, that's exactly what happened. They brought in real dragons to Iceland and yeah. everything. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And you've been to London. I've been to London. I'm going there in June. Sweet. You'll love it. I love London. I'm so excited. I'm going I to Ireland while I'm there. Amosley. Yeah, I didn't do Ireland. Um, I was going to stay in the UK and then I wound up in Brussels. Yeah. Which, you know, poor Brussels right poor now. Poor Brussels right now, for sure. But I was there before that happened. You went to Amsterdam? I did go to Amsterdam. Uh, I went all over the Netherlands, honestly. It was a beautiful country. It was my favorite country I've been to. Really? The Netherlands? Netherlands. Really? It's amazing there. And then I went to Germany for a day. Just to say I went to Germany. Sure. Because it's like, I'm like, oh, Dusseldorf is like right over the border of the Netherlands. Sure. So just took a road trip over there. It's pretty cool. It is. How do you get around over there? Uh, train. Yeah? Yeah. That's actually really smart. I never thought about that. Because I always, you know, you picture renting a car here in the U.S. But uh, over there, gas is really expensive there. That makes sense. Like, I remember we drove, I drove around with someone for one day, and we filled up half a tank, and it was 50 euros for half of a tank. Good Lord. And 50 euros is like $75. That is crazy. Yeah. And that's just half a tank. And how long were you over there for? Uh, I was in that part for two weeks. I did Iceland for a week. What do you pack when you go on these excursions? Um, I use a backpack, and I pack, like, two pairs of pants, um, Smart. like, three shirts. Just clothes. Just a few, a little bit of clothes and then, like, Band-Aids. 
Smart, little first and aid kit. Yeah, um, for Iceland, I brought my penguin Kigurumi. Smart. Because it's cold that there. was Iceland. Yeah. yeah, it was really cool. And you're cold a penguin. <laughs> it was freezing. Well, it's winter, and it's in a place called Iceland. Yeah, um, but everyone's like, oh, Iceland's green and Greenland's ice. But I'm like, it's winter time. Yeah, it's, it's uh, still ice. It's that time of year. And, and it's plus, like, North there's Pole. no sunlight. Really? Full for like four hours. But it's like a sunset. It's like oh. a four hour long sunset. That's pretty cool. And it, the sun comes up at 11 a.m. and then goes down at 4 p.m. Wow. That must have been weird. It was really weird. It was weird waking up and it's still being dark out. Yeah. And you're like, I don't know what time it is. But in the summertime, it doesn't get dark, so. Wow, that would also be weird. With the, uh, yeah. Huh. It was, it was definitely, took some getting used to. Sure. So, who were the nicest people from what country? I like the people from Brussels. Yeah? They were very friendly. Um, the Germans weren't very nice. I was just about to say, were the Germans the other end? Yeah. Were they very um, stoic people? I was in France, but like I took the train through France, so I didn't really talk to any French people. Sure. Um, in Iceland, all the travelers were very nice. Sure. I didn't really talk to many Icelandic people, though. Gotcha. Um, they kind of uh, ignored the foreigners. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, the Londoners were okay. They didn't go out of their way to talk to you. That seems in character. Yeah. They were just like, oh, hi, bye, you know. Sure. Um, most of the people I ran into that were friendly than talked to you were the Americans. Sure. Actually. Um, funny story, too, because yes. Americans are really paranoid. Like, we're the most paranoid people. Sure. When I stayed in my hostel in Amsterdam, and I was, like, right in the red light district in Amsterdam. <laughs> Perfect. Which was awesome. The only people who put locks on their lockers were the Americans. Oh, really? Yeah. No one else did. That's funny. And I was like, oh. Interesting. This American thing, I guess. Sure. No one thought their stuff was going to get stolen. And that's where you usually stay? Hostel to hostel? Hostel or couch surfing. Uh, couch surfing's great. It's free. I know of couch surfing. It's free. Uh, it can be a little scary sometimes, but luckily I've had really good experiences with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, hostels are a lot of fun because you meet a lot of other travelers. That's what my dad says. My dad's a big traveler. Yeah. I'm actually going to be staying at hostels on my way to L.A. Oh, So sweet. I have a hostel. I'm staying in New Orleans. Cool. I've been there. Yeah, I haven't. And then a hostel I'm staying in in Austin. Also been there. Um yeah, and I'm staying at a friend's house in Phoenix, and I'm going up to Grand Canyon. I want to do all oh, seven. Nice. I want to do all seven continents, cool, including Antarctica. Good luck. Thanks. It's gonna be expensive, and, and then cold. all seven natural wonders. Oh, that'd be cool. So I've done the Northern Lights in Iceland. I'm so jealous. And then I'm gonna do the Grand Canyon. Is Niagara Falls one? No, it's not. But Victoria Falls is. Ah. But that's in Africa, so. That's far. A little bit. It's gonna be expensive. Gotcha. Yeah. And yes. I'm planning on hopefully maybe next fall, not this coming fall, I'm um, doing base camp for Everest. That'd be cool. Which is another reason I'm moving to LA because you can't go from like Florida to base camp of Everest. Yeah, your body will just you die. Might, yeah, I'll probably pass out like halfway up there. Yeah. But going from like California to base camp of Everest will be a little bit easier for my body to adjust to. Sure. California is great because you have, like, you can drive three hours, go skiing, and then yeah. drive four hours and go to the beach on the same day. Exactly. That's everything. Exactly. That's again. I don't want to do hiking, and I can train for Everest. Sure. That's pretty cool. It is. I like that. I'm really excited. I love your adventure spirit. This is my spirit. life right now. And then cosplay. Sure. I like how we're at a cosplay thing, not even talking about cosplay. That's right. Yeah, I uh, kind of just roll with I'm, it. I'm cool. I'm, you know. So you started cosplaying. 2000 and... 11, five years ago now. Wow. And your first costume was? Tifa from Final Fantasy VII. Sweet. And I started because I had a group of friends that were going as Final Fantasy VII characters. And they're like, hey, you want to be our Tifa? And I'm like, I've never done this before. But sure, it sounds fun. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. And you just never stopped. I never stopped. To go. I've, I've interviewed a couple people, and you've been the, the linchpin of all of them. Have I? Yeah, you've been the connecting tissue, such as, like, Danielle. Danielle says, like, you got her into cosplay. I did. I did get Danielle into cosplay. I made her do a launch cosplay with me. So, Ella Marie is because of Momo. Thank you. And it's funny because I went to another thing, um, Geek Alliance, not too long ago. And, like, oh, I heard you just started cosplaying. And I'm, like, <laughs> you, nah. I'm like I've actually been cosplaying the longest out of, you know, these three Everyone. people here. <laughs> sure. So, 
So what are what are do you get a lot of questions? Being no. uh, being a cosplayer, not so much. Not really. I don't feel like normally it's like how tall are you? Yeah, how tall are you? Five one. My mother is five one. So I'm as Beautiful. tall as your mom. I'm kind of like your mom then. Kind of like my mom. Is she is she Irish too? She is. Sweet. My my grandmother's last name was Arnold. She had red That's hair. A, yeah. I have red There's hair. There's a lot of face. redheads in my family. Yeah. I did not get the red hair gene, thank God. I got it on my face. Yeah. That's so. what normally all the guys in my family have it on their face but not their head. Yeah. But probably because they go bald. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. I, um, yeah. I did Irish dance, though, for 11 years. I saw a picture of that. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, competitively. That's amazing. It's and really very hard. difficult. Yeah, it's very difficult. A lot I, of people don't realize how difficult it is. I and knew a couple very, people that did it. Very, very competitive. Uh, it's, yeah. And you get to wear those cool costumes. They're expensive. They look expensive. I mean, expensive. I didn't pay for mine. My <laughs> parents did. Nice. But yeah, it was like $2,000 for a specially made one it, from they're Ireland. They're pretty handmade. amazing. I designed the, I don't know if you saw the black and blue one. Yeah. I designed that one. What? I mean, like, like, design, like I picked out the fabric I wanted yeah, no, for it. And I picked out the really colors cool. I wanted. And I'm like, I want it to look like this. So how'd you get into that? Um, I saw Riverdance when I was like six. Nice. And my mom was like, you need to be in like sports and everything. So I was in like soccer and gymnastics. And I'm like, I want to do this. Sure. That's cool, mom. You were and right. And then I started, and then I kept going. And you did it for years and years 11 and years. Eleven years. Eleven years. That's amazing. And then I stopped when I turned 18. Yeah, you just well, phase I've, over. You know, I, I went to college. That makes sense, and there's less river dancing there. And I went a thousand there. miles away to college. I didn't stay at home. That also makes sense. And I'd never been to Florida before I moved down here. Gotcha. So I'm doing the same thing with California. So I'm hoping sure. That's yeah. What I like to You've do. done it already. Why not? Yeah. That's what they're like. Why? And I'm like, because I've done it before. I know I can do it. Yeah. Life's short. Yeah. Live it up, man. And then you know, somehow I'm going to cosplay while I was down here. Yeah. And just I love it. Just roll with it. Just roll. I'm an adventuring cosplay. Too bad I don't bring cosplays when I travel. Yeah. That'd right? be cool photo shoots. It would. It would. Iceland. But I just bring a backpack. Yeah. Iceland would have been awesome. Can you imagine? I have like a Jon Snow costume in Iceland. Or Yigrit? Yigrit, that'd yeah, be that cool. Yeah, that would be really awesome. But yeah, I just bring a backpack with me. That makes sense. Um, I'm wondering because I'm doing a lot of traveling this year. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, you know, backpack around with more than you need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. everyone was like, bring your costumes. I'm like, eh. Yeah, that takes I up could, space but for band aids. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, my like weekend long convention suitcase is way bigger than my like two week long backpacking around Europe. Sure, sure. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I so feel like. So, what did you do in London? Because I'm going in. Lo I'm going to London in June. Um, what are some good things to you, look are at? Are you a Shakespeare fan? I am. The, then go the, the theaters there. Go to the theater. I did that while I was there, and I loved it. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was also cold when I was there. Gotcha, gotcha. It was May, so it was a little bit chilly. Gotcha. Um, what else? Ever a lot of things are in London. I just kind of wandered yeah. and found some tea places and then like would sit in a window at a tea shop and just watch people. It's pretty cool. I found from some Mormons from Utah. They were really cool. Nice. Yeah, they were really friendly. They told me all about Mormonism. Cool. Cool. Nice little tea date. Uh, yeah. And then what else? I feel like I did so much. Oh, I went to this place called Duck and Waffles. Duck and Waffles. It's this restaurant. It's open 24 hours and it's at like 13th story. I did it at like three o'clock in the morning when I was, you know, jet lagged. Sure. <laughs> oh, and the Harry Potter Museum. Oh yes. Ooh, was that amazing? It was magical. I need to go to the wax museum over there. Because but there's they have wax a museums. But everywhere. they have a Star Wars section. That's Ooh. the only place in the world. I didn't do the wax museum when I was there. Mm, they ha I've been to the Madame Tussauds in LA on Hollywood Boulevard. I've it's done cool. The one in New York City. But there's one that has a Star Wars section and it's in London. And There's I'm a, a big Doctor uh, Who museum too, isn't there? Maybe. I'm not really a Doctor Who person. Me neither. The so Star Wars guy. Get, but go to the Harry Potter museum. That was a lot. Of, you have to get your tickets ahead of time, though. Gotcha. Okay. But they have butter beer, which is um, a little bit different than Universal's butter beer. Is it warm? No, it's it's cold. Is that a common misconception that their beers are warm over there, or they are warm? I don't drink beer. That makes sense. But it was warm. They didn't. They don't put ice. Oh, yeah, things. there's no ice in Europe, right? There is ice in Europe, but okay. they just don't put ice in their drinks. Oh, okay. Which is good for me because I like warm 
like room temperature drinks. Yeah, even soda. I don't drink soda anymore. So, that also but makes even sense. when I did drink soda, I liked it room temperature. I didn't like it cold. That is kind of gross. I'm really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I like my water room temperature. I can I, I can deal with that slight chill yeah. maybe, but not cold because yeah. it hurts. I didn't, yeah, I liked my soda room temperature when I drank soda. That's weird. Let's see, uh, we're I'm trying to think what else. There was like a little festival going on when I was there. Wandered around. But you didn't go to Ireland. I didn't. It's a ferry ride away. I know, but I went the other direction instead. That's why. That makes sense. I went to the mainland. I'm going to be there for two weeks, and I want to spend three days in Ireland. I want to see Belfast. I want to see Dublin. I want to see, I will you go know, to Ireland one the day. north is there. Yes. All of the north is Winterfell, Belfast. Winterfell's there. I heard that's a lot of fun. I met people in Iceland that went to that one. I tried to get a part in Game of Thrones. Did you? I did. It, did uh, you fail? Yes, they only hire Irish citizens. Wow, what assholes. I got a hold of the company, though, so that, that was an achievement. That's like the good. actual casting company that does all the extras. That's really cool. They only do citizens. I was like, that makes sense legally. Yeah, but I will go there one day. I told myself I would go to another continent before I go back to Europe since I've already done it twice in one year. Sure. Might as well go to uh, another continent. I'm thinking about doing Taiwan. That'd be cool. Or Japan. Japan gotta go japan i was looking at like because i'm gonna be in la so it's gonna be cheaper for me to go to asia now sure and i found like plane tickets to japan for like 400 dollars round trip what and i was like that's only amazing. in april though which is the best time of year to go because the cherry blossom yeah. season that's amazing so maybe 400 dollars. wow yeah. it was 400 dollars for me to go to iceland too round from trip. where from boston wow how much is it for london 600 round trip that's not bad from boston from new york city Okay, My parents sense. live in, you know, the yeah. north. So what they do is anytime I go home to visit them, because they fly me up there when I want to go visit. Sure. I go, I'm like, hey, parents, I want to come visit you. And so I visit them for a few days and then fly to Europe. <laughs> to the I'm other like, world. sweet. Thanks for flying me up here. Now I'm going to leave you guys. Right. <laughs> and then fly back. And then, you know, and then they buy me the plane ticket to go back to Florida, too. So. Nice. It works out. It works out. That's smart. It I was, is smart. I was looking at uh, tickets to London and out of Miami. Forget about it. It's cheaper if you fly up north first. So I've heard that my dad's whole family's in New Hampshire. Ooh, where in New Hampshire? I have family in New Hampshire. Uh, D Dover. I have Near I have Dover. a cousin in Dover. Yeah, my dad's whole family is. It's actually uh, Lake uh, Ivanhoe. Okay. We have a but house like that on the area. Lake. Yeah. yeah. I have family that lives up yeah. there. His like his whole side is up there. Yeah, my family's all in New England. So we thought about doing that, yeah, flying up first and then over. Because, yeah, I mean, you save like cheaper. four or $500. Exactly. That's why I tell people, too. I'm like, dude, you want to fly up north first. Fly to one of the main, like. JFK. JFK. The Boston one. Um, JFK is probably the cheapest. Really? Um, DC is also cheap to fly to. Gosh, okay. Um, yeah, those are, like, the main two. Boston, if you're going to Iceland, but that's it. Gotcha. Um yeah. What tips would you give to people who want to travel? Um, it's good just do tips. it. Yeah. Like a lot of people are like, oh, I wish I could. I'm like, I wish I had the money to. And I'm like, it's really not expensive. I spent under a thousand dollars total for Iceland. That is amazing. And I spent about two thousand for two weeks in Europe, but that's only because I like splurged. Yeah, yeah. That's like I didn't have amazing. to spend that much money. So just do it. Um, pack light. Yeah, because that's Because those, uh, you know, checked in bag fees will get to you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, just and carrying a suitcase around all a, over where yeah, you're it's going. Yeah, it's a pain. And, um, and don't be afraid to do it by yourself. Like, a lot of people are scared to go alone. Um, but in hostels, and don't be scared of hostels at all. That's um, a good tip. A lot of people are scared of hostels because yes. they think that people are going to kill you. The, I've met the nicest people in hostels, and they're all travelers who are exactly the same as you. They're all, like, 20-somethings or, like, 30-somethings. That's pretty cool. Um, so don't be scared of hostels. You will meet the most amazing people there who have How traveled. How do you find hostels? Um, just Google. Yeah? It's I think Hostel World is where I normally do my bookings. Cool. Um, they're cheaper than hotels. What is a hostel like? Are there rooms or is it like a bunk with a bunch of people in it? It's like a bunk with a bunch of people in it. Um, yeah. So, And if you're a girl, a lot of hostels have girl-only rooms. Smart. So no, a lot of girls are like, eh, I'm not... And there's some that have like male-only rooms as well. Sure. Um, so if you are a girl and you're not comfortable with being in a room with other guys, 
look for the ones who have the female only rooms. They're not hard to find at all. Sure. I did that for um, Amsterdam, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I shared a room with really amazing girls. We went off and did you know things you do in Amsterdam. Cool. That are illegal here. Sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Um, As and you do. some of them didn't even really know English. Like there's these t uh, two girls from Brazil. They didn't really know English, but we went off with them. And I just all met them all. For Iceland, too, like, um, I actually met one of the girls on a plane, and we rented a car, and we drove around the country. Really? Yep. That's pretty cool. It was really awesome. We double trespassed on a volcano. <laughs> that was a fun time. Cool. We jumped a fence. Amazing. And then walked around a volcano, and then jumped another fence to walk around the second volcano that you weren't supposed to go on. Amazing. And, you know, it was all ice. Sure. So we almost died, but you know. Yeah, as okay. you do. YOLO, good, right? Good story. Yeah. Good story. Is it true that every car over there is manual transmission? Um, Not every car, but the car we had was definitely, I don't drive stick. Right. I mean, I can. I learned how to drive on a stick, but it's been a good 10 years. So. Yeah. Um, and I don't trust my, Iceland's, you know, the roads are pretty scary there. Sure. Like, it's just like cliff. You're just like. <laughs> dead. So I wasn't driving. Luckily, the person I was, you know, that I met knew how to drive a stick well. Sure. And they drive on, you know, the right side of the road. Yeah, how weird is that? No, they drive on the right in Iceland. The right oh, side of the road. The, what we drive on. Left. The, yeah. We, London's left. London's left, but the rest of Europe is right. Really? It's just London. I think Ireland is on the left as well. Huh. And Australia. That makes sense. Their toilets go backwards, too. Yeah. They're, Australians are weird. They're just strange. They were a prison Australia. colony. I so. met a lot of Australians while traveling. Really? They're cool people. They're really fun to party with. Yeah. I like their accents a lot. I do, too. We were all making fun of each other's accents when we were traveling. Yeah. Because we met some British um, guys as well. That's pretty awesome. And some Canadians, and any time they said A, everyone would be like, A. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, man. <laughs> Damn it. I, I did a tour of LA with three Canadians or Australians, Canadians and they were pretty are great. Awesome. Uh, yeah, Canadians are really nice. Yeah, I've been to Canada. You've been there, to Canada? I have. I've been to Niagara Falls. There's a lot of Asian people when Is I went. Is there? Yeah, I went to the Canadian side of Niagara Falls. Tons yeah, of that's Japanese what I did people. Yeah, too. I didn't. I was like seven though, so I was before that, you needed like a passport. So. Yeah. To get to Canada. Yeah. But it's okay. I have a passport, so I can go whenever I want. Yeah, there you go. Do what you want. Yeah. Is there what other places do you want to go that you haven't been yet? Uh, Antarctica. I really want to go to Antarctica. Yeah, um, I feel like there's just nothing there. There's penguins though. No, I mean like you show up, you land, like oh hey, all right. Well, get you back take in the a helicopter. cruise. You take yeah? a cruise down there, and it's like you do like the bottom half of Argentina, and yeah. then Antarctica. You start in like Buenos Aires. Okay. So it's a lot of National Geographic. It's a National Geographic tour. Oh okay. So there's not a lot there, but there's penguins. Penguins are cool. And that's all you really need anyways is penguins. What else is there? What else is there? So Antarctica is a place that you want to go that you haven't been yet. So this is an unpopular thing, and every time I tell someone this, they freak out. Um, I really want to go to North Korea. Yeah? yeah. How are you going to get there? Um, you actually can go there with a tour group. You have to be with the tour group. Makes sense. And you um, go to China first and sign like paperwork saying that, like, you're not gonna like publish any articles and sure. yada yada yada, and then you go, and okay. you have to stay with your tour group the entire time you're there, and they show you the pretty places in North Korea. Sure. But I still really want to go, and everyone freaks out when I tell them. <laughs> um, but my senior thesis in college was on North Korea, so. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So it's interesting. Hmm. Um, I want to do uh, Victoria Falls in Africa as well. Cool. Cool. Um, Let's see, what else? Japan, obviously. Japan, Tokyo, because I'm or just Japan? And, um, uh, I want to do all over. I have some friends that teach English over there, so. That helps, knowing yeah. somebody. Yeah, well, I, I took Japanese in oh, college. So nice. Don't ask me to speak it. It's really, <laughs> my Japanese is awful. I can understand it more than I can speak it. Um, have you been to Africa yet? I have not been to Africa. I've only been to North America and Europe. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So I gotta make my way around. I wanna do. I wanna do Egypt as well. Egypt will be cool. See the pyramids. Yeah. Egypt will be cool. Um, um, yeah, I definitely wanna do Japan. I wanna go everywhere. Yeah. So it's really <laughs> hard for me to pick like a few because I'm like I wanna do you'll everything. Eventually, see them all. Yeah. Eventually. That makes sense. 
Have you been to Hawaii? I have not. My goal is to do all 50 states, though. How Ooh. close are you? Uh, it'll be better once I get to go to California because I'm going to be driving through. I've done every single state on the East Coast. Same, same. Every single one, and then, like, Ohio and, like, Pennsylvania and Arizona. Okay. But now I'm going to do all of I-10. I-10, that's a good one. Every Straight sin- across. All of, yep, all of that while I drive to California. So I'll hit, you know... Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, sure. New Mexico. Maybe I'll stop and see uh, George R. R. Martin. Yeah, which, right. Hey, uh, man. Might, yeah, because I'm stopping in uh, Las Cruces, but I don't have a place to sleep yet there. So just hit up GRR. M- maybe I'll just go drive a little bit further to was he in uh, Santa Fe? Santa Fe. I was gonna say Santa Monica, and I'm like, that's, that's California. That's California. It's very pretty. It, is it? I'll be right near there. It's where the pier it's is where, and the it's rocket where power. Riot Games is. Yeah. Yeah. Who uh, didn't give me a job? Oh, assholes! That's lame. I know. Mm. Uh, but Real yeah, lame. on my way there, maybe I'll stop and I'll be like, "Hey, I need a place to sleep," and then I'll finish his book for him while there you I'm go. there. Just uh, I'll make sure he doesn't kill anyone we love. Yeah, if you don't mind, I, I have a list of demands. Okay, who <laughs> who do you not want to die? Um, I want to keep Arya alive. Of course. Apparently his uh, wife said that she's going to divorce him if he kills Arya, so maybe she's safe. Okay, good, good. I don't um, know if that's true or not. I'd love Tyrion to live, but we all know He's it's probably going to end with him going out. Um, um, Sansa's getting cool. I've hated Sansa ever. Yes. yes. We're going to talk about Game of Thrones. <laughs> don't listen. Sen- Have you read the books? No. I'm like, See? no, but here's the thing. <laughs> I, he's too slow for me. Like, he is not popping out these books fast enough. <laughs> Agreed. 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 I, I think can. that's how I can. And, like, I've done this before where I was following an author. Sure. And then they threw her a shit ton of money, and they're like, here, write through more books. And she wrote garbage. Uh, and ever since then, I've been jaded. And I'm like, let me wait till all the books are out, and then I'll read all of them. That makes um, sense. That yeah, makes sense. Sorry. It's okay. That's I'll fair. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, who else? Um, Who do you think is gonna die? I think, I think Sense is gonna end up somewhere good. Okay. Who do you think is gonna be on the throne in the end? Littlefinger. Really? I do. I think Brand. Brand. Yeah. I think he's gonna wind up being there. I think Brand's gonna stay in the north. Do you? I, I think do. it's or he's gonna be the. I think he's gonna be the new Three-Eyed Raven. Oh, I was gonna say that he's gonna be the Winterfell person. Yeah. In the end, that's what I think. I, I think feel like, but I feel like you least expect him to be. It's true. On it's the true. throne in the end. I mean, that'd be. Cool. I don't think Littlefinger. I think Littlefinger is gonna kick the bucket. I think. I think Littlefinger is gonna. I think he'll make it, because okay. he is so good. He I is mean, so good. The last chapter of him, where he like laid out his plan, he goes, "Oh, I'm going to do all of this. We're going to take back this. We're gonna marry you to him. We're gonna yeah. take back the North from the Boltons and then march south." It's like, dear God. Yeah, but I think he's gonna wind up getting himself killed. Possible over ambition. Yeah, over ambition. Um, I want. I don't want this to happen, but I do at the same time. But I want Daenerys to die. Yeah. I know that's unpopular. I love her to death, but she's better in the show. <laughs> she is better in the show. Actually, <laughs> she's actually pretty yeah. boring in the books. I she feel is, like. and she's like. Not like she's very much a young girl. Yeah, she's like, she's like a fourteen-year-old in the book, isn't she? Yeah, she's, she's 14. like, you need to attack this city. Well, yeah, well, I'm not gonna do that. He made fun of your friend. We're attacking at dawn. Like, you yeah, need to maybe think this through a little. Um, so I want her to die because I feel like people would be really upset over she it. She definitely might. She's worse off than anybody else in the book. She is in the book. She is practically dead, anyways. And the Dothraki show up, and people are like, oh, you know, she'll just rule them. No, no, no that's they not hate how works. her. If they knew who she was, they'd kill her right away. Yeah. And uh, the fact that she's not in Vice Dolthrak being like a crone is like yeah. taking a dump on their who? whole culture. See, who do I else? It's not going to go well. What else do I think might die? Marjorie's definitely going to be dead. Marjorie's gone. Which sucks because I love, she's my favorite character in the whole We book. know Tommen is gone. Oh, Tommen's definitely and gone. And then Cersei's going to be gone. I don't know about Jamie though. 
I want Jamie to live. I like him now. I like Jamie. I hated Jamie for the longest Everyone time. Everyone hated Jamie at first. I'm like, anytime he did something good, I was like, yeah, but you push Bran out a window. He's never yeah, going to walk again. I know. I like <laughs> Bran. Everyone hates Bran. I'm like, I love Bran. I like Bran. And I'm really mad that they killed Jojen in the TV show. You and me both. Oh, my God. Although I think he's totally dead in the books. He's probably dead in the books. I think they ate him. I'm pretty, yeah. Made him into that paste. Yeah, but he's not, like, not dead in the books. He's, like, basically he's implied basically, that he's dead. It's, yeah, but, like, not not where he died in the TV show. No, he wasn't, like, stabbed to death by White Walker. Yeah, no, he that, made it. Yeah, and they missed his fav- the best quote, which doesn't really make sense in the TV show anyways. So. Yep. But that was, like, the best quote in the entire book. I quote it all the time. Yeah? Not you wanna really. You want to say the quote? What? You want to say the quote now? Let me see. I got to pull it up. It's, like, <laughs> the reader, a reader lives a thousand lives or someone who doesn't read is like dead or something like that yeah that one lives but one that's a good one yeah that's, that's a, good, a quote. good quote i uh i really don't want braun to die he's I totally love, dead i love braun he's 100 percent dead but uh we'll see do you think stannis is dead in the books yes okay i, but hope I so also too. go back and forth because they like said he's actually dead in the TV show. Yeah, he's definitely dead in the TV show. But I think which he I like how they had Brienne kill him yeah. in the TV show. Yes, uh, I go back and forth. And I'm really excited that she met Arya in the books or in the TV show because during the entire books I'm like she's gonna run into Arya. Right. Oh my god, she's gonna do it, and then she didn't. And I'm like, god damn it. Yeah. So in the TV show I was like, yes, she actually saw. Yeah. Arya. Um. Yeah. Who's your favorite character in Game of Thrones? Marjorie. Marjorie, really? I love Marjorie. In the I show or books or both? Oh, I like her in the show. Okay. I love how, like, I mean, even the books, too. She's very, like. Manipulative? Yes. <laughs> very, I very good it. at being manipulative? Yes. And I love it. I yeah. love it to death. She's good. She's good. She's going to die. Yeah. For sure. 100% Cersei. Her and Cersei are just going to kill each other. Yeah. In, like, the first episode. And Loras is totally dead. Oh. Totally Aww. dead. Rest in peace, Sir Loras. If w- if only they did it correctly, because in know. the books it's so much better. I'm trying to remember what happened in the books. In the books, uh, High Garden is being held. No, they they need to send help to High Garden. They're not doing it because they're uh, locked oh, outside this yeah, castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, as soon as we take this castle, then we'll yeah. give aid to High Garden. He goes, I all like right, Marjorie's I'll go to the castle. I like the grandma. The Tyrell oh, Lady grandma. Olenna. Oh my God, Queen I love of her. Thorns. She's amazing. I love the Tyrell. They're my favorite house. Yeah, I'm a Stark through and through. Of course, I love the Starks too. That's why when I met Maisie Williams, I got like <gasps> starstruck. Mm. It's the only it's the only celebrity I've ever been starstruck. She's of. cute. I follow her on Instagram. Same. I just was like, you're a Stark and you're alive and you're right in front of me and I'm having a moment. I know. I talked to the Hound for like five minutes, so that was cool. Yeah, he's cool. Do you think he's dead? Do you think the Hound is dead? No, I think he's a grave digger. Sounds good. Yep. I like the Hound. That's what I think. And the mountain is still alive. Mountain, zombie mountain. Zombie Robert mountain. Robert Strong. You know, too bad the red vipers. I dead. know. He was so cool. God, he was the best character. I know. And he I was, was only so there for like one book, I too. I was so upset when he died in the books. I know. God, he's so good. It's okay. I'm and trying to remember. Pedro Pascal did an amazing job. It is too much. I know. Too much. I can't handle. It's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, one it'll more be good. Month. So, you leave for L.A. in June. Yes. What are you doing until then? Preparing? Preparing, um, saving up to go. Smart. Um, and your plan is just to figure Megacon. it out. I'm trying to get my cosplays ready for AX. Yeah, what are you doing? What's your lineup? I'm doing a Tier 2 Blood Elf Rogue. I like that. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Okay. And I'm not sure if I can do it, but I'm going to do it anyways. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I worked with Armor once, therefore I can do it again. Yes, it looks very good. Yeah, did I'm I see proud of myself. Uh, Danielle's handiwork there? Did she show you how to do it? Yes, she did. She helped me. She's getting pretty good. And there would be good. times I'm like, I can't cut straight. I'm really bad at cutting things you straight. You and me both. I cannot cut. So like, I'm like, cut it. I'm like, it's not straight. <laughs> and then she would make it straight for me. That helps. It does. It's good to have a uh, good to have a friend that can cut straight lines. Thank God. Yeah. And I'm moving away from her, which and is going to be awful. Did That's why I'm trying to finish everything before I go. That makes sense. Because you just moved here recently. I did. Just moved to West Palm area. Um, 
Yeah, but I've been in Florida for eight years now. That's eight yeah. years too long for me. Yeah, Rolling Stone. It, yeah, the humidity is starting to get to me. It's a lot. You have to swim through oh the air here. Oh, my God. But maybe maybe you'll come see me. You're going to be a famous actor one day. So yes, I will. So you'll come see me in L.A. I'll be in Star Wars for sure. For sure? I'll figure it out. I have a very good plan that I'll tell oh, you which Star Wars? off screen. The next Star Wars? Like the I'm episode hoping eight? Nine. They're nine. filming eight right now. So I'm hoping for nine, but if not nine, definitely one of the So I heard they're making a Han Solo movie. They are. I know. I'm not excited about it. You're not excited? I don't want to see anyone who's not Harrison Ford as Han Solo. That's true. It's going to be like, weird. Why are they even doing it? There's so much extra stuff they could do, but they got to do Han Solo. Uh, I mean. I love Han Solo. He's my favorite character in the old trilogy. I do too. So don't touch him. He's sacred. I love Han Solo. Yeah. I feel like I need to rewatch. You do. Some of them. Have you seen the latest one? Yes, of Did course. I saw it like three times in theaters. Okay, good. Just making sure. Yeah, no. I I've met Kylo Ren the other day yeah, at Disney? Uh, Disney. Sweet. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, what do you think of it? Disney or the Both? Star Wars? In it was order? cool. It's cool. We went on um, Tower of Terror like four times. Nice, nice. Sounds fun. Yeah. I haven't been in a really long time. I've never been. You should go. I haven't been to Magic Kingdom. Yeah, I've been to Magic Kingdom. But I've Kingdom. been to Hollywood Studios. I've been to Epcot. I haven't been to Epcot or Animal Kingdom, but I've been to the I haven't others. been to Animal Kingdom either. I've Hollywood Studios good. is definitely the best one, though. Yeah, I agree. It's where the Star Wars stuff is. Yeah, exactly. So obviously and last I time been. I was there, there wasn't even Star Wars stuff there yet. So. That's lame. Yeah, but now there is. So yeah. we're good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And this has been wonderful. Yes, you've had a good time. I am having a good time. I have. I've sold a lot of stuff. You sold. So, I, actually, I have sold all of zero things today. Yeah, I actually don't see any prints because they're all gone. They're yeah, just sold to death. Sold. So all right. I haven't sold any eggs either. Now for, <laughs> now for some lame cosplay questions. Are you ready? Yes. What's your favorite cosplay of yours? Cosplayer. Cosplay of your own. Of my own. Correct. Ooh, probably my Asuo. Yeah? My newest one. I'm the very proud of it. One? Yeah. I like it a lot. I do. Looks really cool. Yeah. Okay. What is your dream cosplay if money and talent were no objects? The one I'm doing now, the Blood Elf. Yeah? Tier 2. That's my dream cosplay. Also that and Kid from Chrono Cross. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Um, who are your favorite cosplayers? Um, I love Cortoon. Cortoon's I great. I love her. And I hope I get to meet her when I'm in California. You will. Hopefully. I believe it. Um, I'm trying not to name my friends because obviously they're my favorite cosplayers. Yeah, and it's me. But um, that's, yeah, that's it's obviously you. Obviously. Um, I actually really like Jessica Negri. I know it's like. I actually, I, I think she's incredibly I talented. I met her at KatsuCon, and oh, she is, is she the cool? sweetest person I've ever met. That's amazing. Like a lot of people give her a lot of shit, and I'm like, dude, she is sweet. It's easy to get lost in the boobs. Yes. But uh, no, she's. Very I mean, I talented. have big boobs, so I understand um, the hate that she gets for it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think those. I feel like I'm missing someone that I love. Yeah. And I can't think. There's some good ones out there. There's a lot of good ones out there. What's your favorite convention? That I've been to? Yes. Ooh. Right. Um. Because I just did KatsuCon and I love KatsuCon. That was a really good one. But I'm going to have to go with Dragon Con. Yeah, I've heard it's amazing. It is amazing. A lot of people say they like KatsuCon better. Because it's a little bit smaller, not as crazy. Sure. But I'm like, I kind of love the craziness of Dragon Con. Sure. Um, and I love, you know, just going crazy. But the con uh, cosplays at KatsuCon were on point. Like, they were yeah. above, like, everything that I've been to, at least. Sweet, sweet. Who's your favorite celebrity you've met? At a convention? Or in general? I haven't really met any celebrities, actually. Yeah? Yeah, because you have to pay extra to see them, and I'm like, eh. Yeah. Eh. So my celebrities are the cosplayers. That makes sense. I freak There out. are some. Oh, Zergi is another of my favorite cosplayers. And yeah? I met her at KatsuCon. Sweet. And she's really nice. That's cool. Um, celebrities. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't met any. Yeah? Yet. I've never yet. You're moving yes. to L.A. So I am moving to L.A. I'll meet I lots. hear they live there. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I hear. No I, way. I was there for two weeks. I didn't see any, so uh, I hear they're there. I'm sure I will uh, run into maybe one or two. You know, 
Yeah, I did meet Jared Leto back in the day. Yeah, like yeah. 30 Seconds to Mars days? Yeah, 30 Seconds to Mars, because I used to go to all their shows sure. around me. So I have his little signature. Oh, that's pretty I cool. I know. That's he's like the only celebrity I've really met. He's going to be the Joker. He is going to be the Joker. You think he'll do good? I hope so. I'm excited for Suicide Squad. Me too. I'm more excited for X-Men, though. Oh, my God, me too. I, I think it's going to be the best I one. I almost did Psylocke today. Yeah? But then they convinced me to do Sweet Pea instead. Gotcha. That makes sense. I'll do I'll do Psylocke for Megacon. I think Apocalypse is going to be one of the best movies this year. I hope so. It looks amazing. I love X-Men. Me too. Who's your favorite X-Men? Um, the answer is Nightcrawler. Okay, Nightcrawler. <laughs> I was going to say Rogue, but Nightcrawler. Rogue's good. Rogue's good. Nightcrawler's mine. It's one of the biggest reasons I'm excited for Apocalypse, because yeah. Nightcrawler's back. And Oscar Isaac is going to be Apocalypse. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. It's exciting. Civil um, War looks pretty good. I'm not I'm excited not, for Batman and Superman. I heard it's really bad. I've heard that as well. Um, I probably won't see Civil War either, because I'm not really a Captain America fan. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think of Winter Soldier? I didn't see it. It's very good. Was it? Yeah, very, very know. good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, civil. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't seen any of the. I don't know. It just doesn't appeal to me. Yeah. It's because I hate Americans. That makes sense. Yeah, that's why I travel out of America. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It, it's all explained now. It's uh, so much explained. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why does she travel so much? And you're like, oh. I just, I just hate Americans. Gotcha, gotcha. And fun. And, and you everything. run into most of them. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> abroad. Exactly. <laughs> um. Gotcha. Okay. Any other lame questions? Yeah. Um, hold on. What is, is the something? Uh, so you have a page. <laughs> I have a page. <laughs> you have a page. I do. And um, you have a lot of people on them. Not that many. More than 12. More than 12. Would you say your demographic is half and half? Mostly dudes, mostly chicks? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I actually looked at it recently, and it went up. Um, oh. It was like 3% girls. Oh, okay. And 97% guys. Now it's about 8% girls. That's cool. And the rest dudes. Yeah? Are and they they're nice? Most, um, most of them. That's good. Majority of them. Um, luckily, they realize I have a really weird sense of humor. Okay. Because, you know, I do. Yes. Um, I feel like I do, at least. Yes. Have you seen my Patreon? Not By yet. the way? Oh, it's so funny. Is it? So basically, I have it where it's like, give me a dollar, and you get entered into a raffle for a free print, and I will also post dick pics. Oh, nice. So. And you post actual dick pics, I hope? Uh, dick Cheney oh, is that's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> one that was willing to shoot you in the face. Sure, sure. Um, dick Tracy? Dick Jones? I haven't done Dick Tracy yet. Dick Van Dyke? That's a good idea. I was almost going to do Dick Van Dyke, and I haven't yet. I will eventually. Yeah, that's good. Um, so yeah, that's what I do, and they get entered into raffle. I like it. All you have to do is pay a dollar. I like it. Because I want dollar bills. Dollar, dollar bills. So I can feel like a stripper without actually having to be a stripper. There you go. Yeah. I should probably do that because doing the real thing is rough on your yeah. knees. Yeah. But yeah, most of the people are actually pretty nice. Um, you know, I've gotten a few of those kind of, you know, yeah. people. Yep. You know. Of those course, people. everyone does that. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. I don't get those. I feel like you maybe you have like more twelve year old girls. I have um, or just cool people. Actually, I don't really know my demographic. Everyone's pretty neat. They're very nice. Yeah, because it's me. It's all me on your page. All thousand and whatever people you have. How yeah. many people do you have now? Thirteen, uh, almost fourteen hundred. Almost fourteen hundred. We hit a thousand at the same time. Yeah, we did. We did. It uh. was like the same day too. And now I'm I'm really close to catching up with you. You're at like what? Uh, Five thousand. Four thousand. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, you're I'm right behind there. you. It's okay. This what happened to Danielle. I made my page like two years before Danielle. Yeah. And then uh, she went. Whoop, she and I'm skyrocketed. Like, Hi. Yeah. Hey, like, what's? Come back. How's the weather? How's the weather up there? Do you have a ladder, perhaps? Uh, and then. Uh, yeah. 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 That's fun. I, it's I, um, fun. I'm glad I'm not a girl cosplayer. It seems like a totally different game. I, it is. You got a I lot of stuff like. to worry about that I don't. Yeah. Oh, well. But at you least people are it. nice. Yeah. I just troll the trolls. That works. I had someone block me the other day that tried yeah? trolling me. Yeah, on Instagram. They told me I had a flat butt. Oh. And so I went on his page, and I was like, 
nice receding hairline, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and he blocked me. <laughs> and nice like, flat hair. Like, oh, wait, there is oh, none. Oh, snap. Uh, yeah. Bam, 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 so bam, he blocked bam. me because of it. I'm like. Come on, man. I'm like, you can't handle it, yeah. huh? Don't give it if you can't take it. Exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. So that's good. That's good. Yeah. Fight for your right to party, you know? Exactly. And stuff. That's why you don't troll me. That's probably why I don't have many trolls, because they're just like, oh. They know. They know. They know. <laughs> they know. It's like, I remember somebody uh, sent Danica a dick pic, so she sent, like, one of those banana slicers <laughs> pictures back. That's funny. She didn't get that anymore. Hey, look. There's a weirdo. Oh. oh. I just got, like... <laughs> Happy Easter birthday! Yeah! It's all over the place now. Kind of like uh, some other things that happens sometimes. Sometimes. Time to time. Yeah. On occasion. On a few occasion. On, a, on, a, on occasion. Yeah. Yes. So what other lame questions do you have for me? Danielle, what's a lame cosplay question? What's your favorite cosplay? What's your favorite cosplay? She already said that one. <laughs> yeah, oh. we already did that one. What got you into cosplay? Ooh. Ooh. What got you into cosplay? I think I already said this. Did you? What got you into cosplay? Yeah. I'll tell it again. You probably um, did. So a group of my friends were like, hey, do you want to be Tifa uh, in, yes, our, uh, in our Final Fantasy VII group? And I said yes. That's awesome. That is a good picture There's of you. There's a picture of my face. You need to post that up. I need to post that as my avatar. On As your avatar. I was going to start singing that Do You Want to Be My Avatar I, song. Same thing. Same and, mind. But right, then I realized I'm a really bad singer. <laughs> um, what does cosplay mean to you? Oh, Ooh, God. I didn't even think about that one. That That's a good a one. That really awful question. Yeah, what does cosplay what mean does to you? What does it mean to me? Um, it means I get to dress up as a cool character and uh, not care about anything. Else. That's a good answer. Yeah. It's a good answer to a it bad question. It doesn't really mean anything. It just I just have fun. This is see I, I want to get all those questions out on this. So if you're ever asked them just be like go listen to the podcast Yeah, go listen to that podcast. Danielle knows. Yeah. She's people still listen to her episode and that was on Christmas. Ooh. Yeah. You think people will keep listening to mine? I think they're only going to listen to yours. Only? Especially cuz I think my mic was off for the first Probably for lot the first bit. like bit. <laughs> um, that's why we're going as long as we are. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's not only me. I had um you know, Alexia Jean Grey. Uh huh. I added her, and halfway through, she flipped hers off accidentally. Oh, and no. I didn't catch it. So I thought it'd be really funny to purposefully keep mine off and then flip it on halfway through. That's I planned why. it just she to. She was actually one of the first uh, cosplayers I met because she was also doing Tifa at the same convention I was doing Tifa. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then I stalked her. That makes and sense. I'm pretty sure she still has no idea who I am, even though I've said hi to her like millions of times. <laughs> That's, That's what happens to me. So you need to have a cosplay that, you know, you yell things that people remember, such as my cabbages. Yes. Trademark. I remember you. I stalked you at the first convention I saw you at. You did. You I did. was like, hey. You came up to me, and that's yeah. how I met Danielle was through you. Yeah. Because she's like, oh, my God, it's a cabbage dude. And I'm like, I'm going to go talk to him because yep. he seems like a cool person with a good sense of humor. And you were And wrong. then I realized you're a really <laughs> awful person, <laughs> and... You are super mean, and I never want to be friends with you ever again. That's right. That's you're actually why I'm moving to L.A. You're being paid to be on the podcast. Yeah. And I'm paying you to leave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm awful. I'm just terrible. I'm not easy to talk to or get oh, along with. Oh, you're an awful person. I actually was saying mean things to you, and that's why I shut it off so they wouldn't hear it. Yeah, and flipped that's it back actually on why. To and be like, uh, hey. we didn't bond over Game of Thrones at all. Nope. I don't even like Game of Thrones. Yeah, you actually, I hate Game of Thrones too. Yeah, it's just awful. We just uh, pretend that we read the books. Yeah, I haven't even read it. It was actually, uh, what was that, what's that website? NedStark.com. Oh, I was going to say whatever <laughs> that, like, uh, where you read the cliff note. The cliff note. Cliff notes? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the what website? That's what we did? Yep. Yeah, we just cliff noted it. That makes sense. 100% makes sense. All right. Um, what is a cosplay story that you haven't told? <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a hard sentence to make up. Um, that okay, I what, haven't told. What is a? Oh, I don't. I oh. want to say this one, but I don't want to get anyone in trouble. So don't I'm not say gonna names. say names. So at Dragon Con, it was like four o'clock in the morning, and me and these two other people. Um, <gasps> I know this story. Do you? No, go on. Okay, <laughs> me and two other people, because you know it was Dragon Con, so we were drinking. Yep. Um, it was 4 o'clock in the morning. 
because it's Dragon Con, and we stole the Dragon Con sign. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know this story. The <laughs> <laughs> it was the well, it was not the Dragon Con sign, but it was like the Give Blood Dragon Con sign. So they Shh, don't so tell they anyone. so they gave you people give their blood, and you gave them an empty sign. Yeah. You took their sign. Yeah. That's that, that's but all right. Don't, yeah, don't tell anyone. Do you still have it? Well, uh, the other person who was with me kept it. Nice. It was not Danielle. It was I will not tell Danielle. You that she was not there <laughs> at the time. It was people that I had met at Dragon Con, but I'm still friends with. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. He yeah. who must not be named. People, I'm not going to say names. That's smart. Smart. I will uh, keep it to me. Uh, don't tell anyone else. Yep. Except for the people who obviously listen to this broadcast. Yes, broadcast. Podcast. We're live so actually right now. We are live. Coming to you live from GeekFest. So live right now. Dun, 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 dun. This just in. Momo cosplays. Momo <laughs> cosplays. The Keeks, the Keeks cosplay. Yeah. Breaking news. Keeks. What is Keeks? I know. Where did Keeks come from? I was going to say, uh, that's yeah. a question asked Origin me. story. So origin story is um, my League of Legends name is Kiki. Whoa. After Kiki's delivery service. I love it. Yeah, I got it in the beta. Okay. A long time ago, when you could still get Kiki. Sure. Because <laughs> um, before everyone, you had to everyone's get like, "How'd you get that name?" Like, I'm like, I played in beta for like two games. Before you have to get Kiki one two five yeah. seven eight five four three um, R. So I was Kiki, and then uh, it somehow became Keeks because uh, it came became scumbag Keeks. Okay. Essentially, because I would KS people. Gotcha. So I became a scumbag. You're a you're a big leagues fan. Kind of. So I'm really bad at the game. Yeah. I've been playing since beta. I'm an awful. What I'm do, what so do you play? bad. Uh, mainly support. Okay. Um, I really hate support. I prefer mid, but I'm better at support. Okay. I really like AD carry too, but again, I'm really bad at AD carry. Sure. Uh, so yeah, I just do support because I'm bad at everything else. Sure. And I'm bad at support too, but I'm a little less bad. Yeah. Yeah. I know you watch the, the tournament league thing. I do. I do a lot. Who's your team? Um, CLG. Cool. But what, also, what? I right. really like Immortals, their new team. Okay. I'm liking them this season. What is the team that, like, booted out a player, then he went in to another team? That was uh, CLG. Yeah, I saw <laughs> that. Okay. <laughs> they went, he went to some, but, uh, that, yeah, that player's doing not as great. Uh, I had him on my fantasy league. And, and he fantasy almost, leagues? That's yeah, there's cool. fantasy leagues. I went undefeated this season. Oh, nice. Congrats. Nice. Thank you. I beat out Danielle. Uh-oh. Did you get her into league or she got you into league? Uh, we actually met because of league. Oh. So neither of us got each other into league. We both played league. And I had an all-female League of Legends group, like, team. Nice. And I needed a fifth player. And one of my friends was like, oh, hey, my friend uh, plays league. Uh, you should you should invite her over and play with her, and that is the story of how I met Danielle. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, we actually league. had met a few years before that at a movie theater with some friends, but I, you know, I said hi and that was about it. Sure, sure. And she actually had pink hair at the time. Oh, nice. And she looked like Lightning from Final Fantasy, and That's I was like, cool. oh my god, you look like Lightning, and that was our only interaction. That's and then, like two years later, we met because of League of Legends. That's cool. And we became best it's friends. It's a good story. It is a great best story. Best best friends. I know. Best best. Like, Who's your favorite character in leagues? There's a lot of characters in the league. There are. Which one's your favorite? That I like to play? Or, or in, general. in general? If they're separate, then Morgana. Both. I love Morgana. Yeah? Cool. Yeah. I want a cosplayer, but she has wings, and I can't make wings. That makes sense. Yet. Yet. You'll get it. I tried. I actually tried doing her cosplay, and the wings I made were awful oh so that's why that one didn't happen that makes sense that's a good reason makes sense what time is it anyways i feel like we've been at this for like forever it's three o'clock we've been at it for an hour actually and wow. they run but about of course, like the first like three thirty minutes your mic was off yep so, so i'm gonna have to figure that out you can voice over it i'm probably going to have to do that or just, just make up what you were saying yeah i'll just <laughs> i'll just i'll just put like swear words and just like <laughs> awful things like, what is like, she even Fuck. talking about God, okay, I get it. You travel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then just have you talk like you don't know what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be good. I've had a good time. Did you have a good time? I, I'm having a great time. I'm good. really happy I haven't seen you in a long time. I know. I've it's been you. forever. It's good Good. I wish I knew up. you were coming. Yeah. I, um, was I it just random? I could have an announcement, but 
Uh, I did plan it on the it. The only bit. thing I've seen from you is that you uh, got an agent or might have gotten an agent. Yes. Did you get an agent? I may have. Congratulations. I'm really Thank proud. Thank you. I, uh, so I can, um, I can uh, brag later when she became famous. I, I, I will be on the next season of Ballers. And will in you? The, and in the movie Baywatch next year. I'll, I'll you and know. And some other stuff that's coming up. Sweet. Let me know. I'm going to watch Ballers. Sweet. Do you have any speaking parts in it? No, but oh, uh, I can't funny. say what happened, but I will say when there's an airplane, look closely. Okay. So. And you'll be in the background somewhere. Maybe, maybe not. Yes. Unless they cut it out. Indeed. Yeah, I was on there for four days. I did four different episodes, and only one of those, I'm pretty sure I made the cut. Okay. So yeah. I will look. I'll keep looking. Yes. That kind of sucks how that works. How like. Very much. I would be so upset if I was like on set for like four days and my portion wasn't even there. It's uh, it's much worse when you're on set for like 13 hours and Ooh. then you never even film. Ooh. That happened twice. Oh my God, that's awful. 5:30 a.m. I'm so time. glad I'm not an actress. It's a, uh, it's I'm a whole lot of waiting around. Yeah. Whole lot of waiting around. And then like five action shoots and then bye. Yeah, you do. You do a couple takes and then you wait around some more because they got to move the camera and change all the lights oh around. Oh my God, that sounds awful. Yeah, it's it's, it's definitely uh, an interesting. I would not want to do that. Yeah. It's, uh, there's a movie coming out called Tethered. It'll be out in Are you in it? next month. Yeah, I'm the main guy's best friend. Oh, that's right. It's so you said it's a movie? It's a movie. Feature length. It'll be on DVD, hopefully Netflix. Like it's But big not deal. but not like big screen. Not theaters, no. Okay. There will be it will be shown in theaters for the premiere. Okay. But not distribution. Can I come to the premiere? If you're here, yes. It'll be in Naples probably. April? Oh Naples. It's where I live. But you'll be able to watch it online, I'm sure, okay. or on DVD and stuff. Yeah, just uh, just link it to me. I'll make sure it's good first. I will watch it even if Actually, it's not good. I'll make just sure that I'm good you. in it first. I'm going to be like, here, watch me suck for an hour and a half. No, it's okay. I'm going to watch you anyways. I will not allow even you if to you're watch sucking, me even if Because I, I still want to support you. I it's appreciate that. It's kind of like when that. I make a really crappy cosplay and people still support me. Well, it's because you have yet to make a really crappy cosplay. Uh, that's oh. debatable. Oh. oh. You haven't seen my first few cosplays. You haven't seen mine. Uh, <laughs> a. 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 Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Now we're, yeah. Now we're here. Now we're here. Well, anyway, where can people find you on the internet? Keeks. Keeks. Cosplay. Cosplay. On Facebook. On Facebook. And Scumbag Keeks. On. On Twitter and Instagram. Patreon. And Patreon is also Scumbag Keeks. Scumbag Keeks. Sweet. And also Scumbag Keeks on uh, Twitch, which I haven't streamed in a while. So you can still find me there when I Sweet. feel when like you streaming do it. again. Yeah, yeah that's uh, – where can people find you? That's the real question. On the internet. On the internet. All over – actually, he's on uh, Pornhub. Yeah. Me too. I actually have a whole channel. Ooh. I'm one of those, like, blue check marked, verified. Did they do that? Yeah. Yep, that's sure. me. Yeah, I'm, I'm – Pornhub, you can find me on Scumbag Geeks. Scumbag Geeks. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Don't look. <laughs> your whole your whole audience was like, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the collective no. keyboarding. And like, it's gonna be on Pornhub, but it's gonna be like me just like. It'll be your cosplays like animated. Yeah. They'll take your prints and just digitize them. You're gonna see my huge dick, guys. I mean, just if you're kidding. gonna do it, you might as well be packing. Hey. It's my theory in life. Um, I'm actually <laughs> the dude in it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a perfect way to end it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, does this mean we're done? Yep, it means Sweet, we're done. Sweet, we're done. Now you just Bye, press guys. And boop.